How's it going everybody? Welcome back. We've got another episode of Slow Cooking Sunday, finally. Finally, it's been a while, I've been wanting to get around to this for quite some time. So we're making a bacon, a beef bacon and bean casserole today. Um, so it's really simple to be fair, I've not made this before but just reading it, it looks really simple to do. So you need 675 grams of beef mince, uh, which I have got here, I think I've got about 700, 750, so an extra 70, um, an extra, uh, yeah, 75 grams, but that's not the end of the world. I'm just going to chuck it all in anyway. Uh, you need so a can of baked beans, just one. It's 450 grams, 420 in there, so that's about right. You need four to six slices of streak of bacon, which I've got just over there, because I've got to take out the freezer again, so we've defrosted it. Um, and then you need one green pepper, which we've got all chopped up and de-seeded here. How big you chop it up is completely up to you. I've chopped it up quite small because I have kids that don't always like eating vegetables, so if you can really hide it in there, you know, go for it. 80 grams of molasses or black treacle, as it's more well known in England. Um, I'm going to put that into the bowl though, straight in and measure that out like that, because it's very sticky and it can be difficult. Um, tomato sauce, 110 grams of that, a teaspoon of mustard powder, and then some salt and pepper to season. So, where are my measuring spoons? There they are. Get that out for the mustard powder and we're just going to get straight into this bit. So, into a mixing bowl, you want to put your can of baked beans. There we go. Straight in. Like so. There we go. I don't like to waste any. There we go. We've got them all out. And then you're going to mix that with the 60 grams of, so the 80 grams of molasses. Let's get this set up. We'll start with the ketchup. So 110 grams of the ketchup. So I'll put this onto the weighing scales so that I can measure it straight in. Seventy-five. Ninety-three. Hundred and four. There we go. Hundred and nine. Oh, so I'm not going to risk any more because that's a temperamental bottle. Next, the molasses. Okay, we've had a bit of an issue with the recording there, it cut out. So we've got the molasses in, all 80 grams of it, and now we're just mixing it all in. I've also put the mustard, the one teaspoon of mustard powder, and then I've seasoned it with some salt and pepper. Um, obviously, we can add more of that later. Then we'll just mix it in to make sure none of it's separate, and we've got a nice runny consistency like that. So now, what I'm going to do is, the slow cooker over here, we're going to pour all of this straight in now because we don't need that out we can just put that straight into the slow cooker try and scrape as much of it out as well as you possibly can there we go perfect right i'm just going to put it on low for now just so that it's warming up so the next job is we're going to heat a pan up and we're going to heat up the bacon and the pepper together in a pan now so we've got the same as last time in the last video uh we're going to just cut it straight in now. Lovely. We're going to do it, um, if I let's get rid of any excess liquids. There we go. Like I say, yeah, sorry. We're going to do it straight into the pan. We're going to chop it straight and just get it frying off together. Um, instead of doing it like once it's cooked or anything like that, because I think it's a bit of a waste of time. So it says four to six. We've got seven here. I'm just going to get them all in, obviously, I'm not bothered about messing around. I'm going to do fairly big pieces, though. You know, this is a stew, it's not a pasta bake or anything, so I don't think there'd be much sense in doing tiny little pieces for this. Once we're in, I'm just going to pull them apart with my uh, with my fingers. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then just pull it apart. I know it's a bit frozen together still as well from uh, when it was in, uh, obviously left in the freezer. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it apart like that. Now whilst it's just frying, obviously we're going to add the pepper in as well and let them cook together. Just want this in really until the bacon starts to go crispy. Obviously give it a bit of a mix whilst it's in there and things like that as well. But yeah, we just want it to go crispy. Basically, we want it near enough cooked through. 
Right, so it's not quite all crispy, but the main thing is, is it's mostly cooked. Uh, so we're going to transfer this now into the slow cooker. So I'm just going to add a splash of oil. And we're going to add in to here the, the mince. So always remember to remove the bottom sheet. We're going to break it apart. I always recommend a really good quality mince. Mince isn't that expensive in terms of like all the meats out there. This was about four or five pounds. So, you know, just, it's nice and lean, it's good for you. And you don't want a really fatty mince. I'm just going to cook this, keep stirring it for about four to five minutes until it's browned and then we can transfer this to the slow cooker as well. Okay, so now it is mostly browned, so we're going to transfer it. Well, when I say mostly browned, it's, it's, it's browned. Uh, we're going to just make sure we drain off any excess fat. We don't want that going in. Uh, you know, it could be just from the oil or whatever, but either way, we don't want to be putting that in to the slow cooker. Obviously try not to pour out your mince as well into the sink or wherever you're putting it because that would be bad. Right, and then into here can go the mince. Awesome. Like so. Doesn't look very appetizing at the moment. Guaranteed you are thinking that. But we're going to get it all mixed in now with the rest. With the bean mixture, the bacon and peppers. Make sure it is well and truly coated. There we go. Smells pretty nice to be fair though. Well, there we go, look at that. Nicely coated. Make sure you're bringing it all up from the bottom. You don't want to leave anything unseasoned or marinated or whatever you want to refer to this as. Just like so. So now, get rid of that. And we're now going to turn it up to high and it's going to be covered and cooked now for one and a half hours. Right, here we go. That looks a bit done to me. It smells fantastic too. Right, I'm going to put it into a bowl and we're going to give it a try. Let me give it a quick stir as well. Yeah, it looks lovely. It looks really good. Everything seems to have cooked nicely. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So obviously it just looks like a bit of a mess, but let's see how it try it how it tastes. Okay, so it's a bit hot. Obviously it's just come out. Really hot. Really nice. Quite sweet. That'll be the treacle in it, the uh, black treacle. That's really, really good. Mm. So it's got the right amount of meat in. Everything's cooked perfect. It's not dry, it's like really nice and moist. Overall flavour is really good. It's um, obviously quite tomato -y. But yeah, that's really good. Other than that little bit of salt and pepper I put in it, it does not need any more. But yeah, that's definitely a successful one, I'd say. I hope you enjoyed this. There's definitely going to be more to come now. Uh, try and get a bit more regular with the uploading. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you give it a go and what you think to it. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.